Hi everybody welcome to Horse Ride this is the calculator tutorial part 2 if you are new to the channel subscribe the channel if you are very new to the video see my old videos and let's start beginning so this is the second part we here uh, we are going to design this button so how it looks the same way we are going to design the same here we have to see these all the buttons are same here so i'm going to create start with that one first press shift a and create a cube and scale it down go to the top view and press g to move and move it towards until here and scale it down and g to move press period key to zoom in g z you can move a little bit up up like this skeleton z axis make it more small and g z to move towards up okay this much height we can give and this size is i hope it's okay i think so, fine okay this button is little bit different so i'm going to scale it in y axis to make it little bit down so now the button whatever the looks we required it has been came now what i am going to do is go to edit mode press 2 on the keyboard and i go to the wireframe and select these edges and i am going to create a beveling for the same control b to bevel increase the thing sorry i make it all the edges we are stop edges everything is in smooth condition right in this corner every corner is smooth condition i press control b to bevel so before that we had apply a scale so the when i applied without applying so it's not taken correctly now control b you can able to see which is getting curved correctly okay share smooth share smooth and go to auto make it auto smooth now here the button if you see means it's getting a little bit bent inside right the curve curve shape okay in center so what i am going to do i'm going to create one uh, two edge loops here and two edge loops here go to the wired section go to the front view go to the wireframe select these thing and press g z to move slightly down and i create one more edge here and g z slightly down so actually it has been created more softness for us even this also i i under this okay here it doesn't look have the smooth bend right so what i am going to do i am going to create one more thing here and g z and create one more thing here and g z now you can able to see it doesn't look nice i press control 3 for subdivision modifier so the key looks what we expected it has came little bit bent right so here go to the right side uh, front view and period key and shift to z now it has been not uh, came exactly what we expected right so what i am going to do is create one edge loops here press o on the key uh, thing and press g to move i press g and scroll it down so make it this smooth okay now the smooth has been came what we expected and i am going to move this one g set to move little bit up go to edit mode go to the front view select this everything and e text it in z axis okay now we can able to see everything is looks fine g z i make it little bit up so now our button has been ready right now so i am going to do the unwrapping for the button so which is uh, it is will be easy for us to do the things right go to edit mode shift z and press 3 on the keyboard for the face selection 
and i press control go to object board press shift h to unhide others except this item and go to edit mode and go to the modifier tab and turn off the addition in modifier and press x to delete the in faces now go to edit mode now our button has been uh, ready okay right so now here here we are going to do the unwrapping so i'm selected all the edges as per the requirement and i press f5 to mark seam so you can right click and go for the mark seam i have added a start shortcut for the f5 and f6 to remove mark and mark seam so now i have marked everything so we have can go to the uv editing tool and select all and we can see press u and unwrap it okay unwrapped well for us as per the requirement right so this the way it need to under for everything but we have done for one button so we are going to do the mirroring uh, sorry um, array for this so using the array so which is easy to do the modeling right first alt h to unhide everything and now i am going to do the array modifier for this okay right so uh, this button 1 2 3 4 is there so go to array modifier and we required in, in now it's located in x axis so which is not required for that make it zero we required in y axis i'm going to give minus one to move there and you can able to see it has been moved so actually we required one two three buttons for the same so i'm going to increase the distance for this using one by one key okay sorry i have to click left for the minus now and i increase the count two three four okay now i have increased but here when we see the calculator is having uh, more space we have given so we can do the adjustment i tell you first we can increase a little bit uh, distance more also so which looks nice fine okay the same thing i'm going to do is select this and g y axis i'm going to do the movement go to the top view select this calculator bottom go to edit mode go to the wireframe press one on the keyboard for the vertices selection select all the vertices in top what i have selected and g y to move towards like this and we can able to see some uh, design has came little bit further right so what i'm going to do is i'm going to create a two edge loops here and one edge loop here and i'm going to select this one press g using a o thing i'm going to move it a little bit like this y axis mm -hmm. this proportional tool editing so which will be useful for us to make the smooth cut or square root sharp leaner like that we can change the settings and move like that but we require a smooth cause control 3 to make a smooth calculator so actually which has been not came much distance like this i feel like i press control z z go to the top view and go to the wireframe and g to move in y axis slightly like this okay now i go press control 3 and go to the solid mode yeah looks better fine now um 
these keys okay i press g y to move a little bit further here and that's came like this i feel yeah right it is close to that and i go to the wireframe and uh, turn off the o professional tool and i press select these vertices and press g y to move towards like this okay okay i have made the alignment so now we are going to add one more array to create these buttons i press add modifier i press the array once again and i minimize these two and i make it x is going to be a minus one and i am going to increase that one to give a gap and make it three counts so now our button has been uh, basically it's ready and uh, distance another three buttons now ah, having more things so i'm going to make this g x to move a little bit here i save it once again and our button has been ready basics buttons so now i'm going to shift d to duplicate in y axis sorry x axis and move towards like this giving a little bit different gap okay i think i have given more gap i think so i make a gx to move towards here this button is not get matched so what i am going to do is i am going to reduce the distance between the buttons uh, same thing i am going to do it here and gx to move okay three button has matched okay fine and uh, i make it gx to move a little bit here okay make it the three count okay, this is the thing i'm going to do only this button i'm going to need to change a little bit lengthy these two buttons i will guide you how to do that now and before that here we can see these two buttons need to be created so i'm going to give the same button for this what i'm going to do is shift d to duplicate in y axis and move towards there and cancel the array modifier which is not required for us go to the top view and g y and <coughs> the same thing is only is there difference between that both two and the four keys uh, the only the difference is the height of the button scale it in y axis and make it a little bit smaller and g y to move towards here like this okay now i am going to apply again a array modifier i am going to give it in minus one and i am going to increase it towards like this so i am going to give the four count so which is requires the four count so now our this button also has been ready so only the thing we are going to do is we are going to apply this button for that these two need to be matched right at i am going to do this i am going to apply a both array using a an object mode i am going to click control a to apply this apply i am going to give it in shortcut control a okay so now each object has been uh, now it has been uh, array has been applied right now go to edit mode select everything press p by loose part now i came back to model now we can able to see all the button has been separated okay now i'm going to select these two and go to edit mode and press seven on the keyboard shift z to go to the wireframe select these two vertices press x to delete the vertices now select these two and these two and press f to fill sorry 
uh, I am going to select these two. These four press F to fill. Sorry, F to fill. Oops, it's not happening. I understood why it's not happen because the both objects are separate. So what we have to do? Select these two object using a shift key. Press Control J to join as a single object. Now I go to the wireframe and now I press F. Now it has been filled. Select these two. F F F F F F F F F to fill. Fill the blanks. So it should be four corners for the each things. Now this button also has been ready. Now we can able to see the pivot point for the each button, which is highlighting the plus symbol. So which is not required that as like the same. So we can do the changes that we see it in next video. Until then, bye. See you. If you like the video, subscribe the channel. Bye bye.